much more mature skater on the ice this year and clearly the favorite she is leading after the ladies short program but Peggy Fleming there's another skater here in second place right now who has a lot of experience her ninth nationals that's Tanya Kwiatkowski and she has skated very well yes she won the short program last year and skated very well again last night her practices all week have been going excellent and she's looking very very confident this could be her moment. We'll have to wait and see. Well, no doubt one of the big stories has been the injured ankle of Nicole Bobek. And joining us right now is Leslie Visser with an update on that ankle. Leslie? T Terry, as you know, this has been a very emotional week for Nicole. She told me her ankle is still very sore. She iced it all day, although she did hit all of her triples in practice today. She has a fluid-filled bursa sac that is putting pressure on the tendon on her ankle. That means it's very painful when she either lands or pushes off. She told me she did consider taking a cortisone shot on Monday, but decided against it. Well, her coach, Barbara hey, Rolls-Williams, said her goal for Nicole tonight is to finish in the top three and just make the world team but Nicole said her dream is to dazzle and defend her title Terry all right Leslie I'll tell you what though you watching her in the warm-up she has not looked very comfortable moments ago she came over to the side had tears in her eyes as she talked to Barbara Rolls Williams and it's kind of a uh, tenuous situation at this point here in the warm-up one of the sensations though Dick Button of this ladies competition has been only 13 year old Tara Lipinski. I sometimes think that when you're 13, there's just nothing that bothers you and you can fly through the world without any any worries. And 16 is not that much older. Sydney Vogel, another sensation. She won the junior championship last year over Tara Lipinski. Uh, well, there's a very interesting thing that Nicole is leaving the ice. But remember, there's only nine seconds left in this warm-up. So she's probably taking care of that ankle. and Yeah, but look at her face stick right now. She has tears in her eyes. It's the right ankle. When she completed her short program, the first thing she did was to take off her right skate. And right now she is walking backstage. Here is the skate order. It's a random draw, Signe Vogel. Then Michelle Kwan and Nicole Bobek right in a row. Second and third, Tara Lipinski, followed by Karen Kwan, and then Tanya Kwiatkowski, who is currently in second place. I wouldn't be surprised if Nicole decided not to skate. Currently, well, well, in terms that's, that's not a prediction, by the way. In terms of the world team, normally the top three finishers go on to the world team, but of course there is the issue of a possible buy at some point. Well, she certainly has shown up at this championship and done an excellent job so far. So I think there would be a great deal of sympathy for her if she had to withdraw. One of the young, very talented skaters. She's the reigning junior national champion here is 16-year-old Sydney Vogel. She has a wonderful flow over the ice and natural technique in her jumps. They look very light, very easy. First move, triple left. Very easy, very smooth. Sydney Vogel currently in fourth place after the short program. Well, two very neat triple jumps so far. She turns very straight in the air. I must say, I like the expression on her face. She always, it seems as though she's enjoying it so much. She really does, looks very relaxed. with a double turn in between that and the double toe loop. Which I mentioned because that um, does not consist or does not make a double jump combination. Right. Sydney won the Pacific Coast sectionals on the way last year and uh, Coming off a tough summer. 
Got some injuries, a blood clot and a major bruise in her right hip. Finished fifth at the Olympic Festival. But she is skating very well now. Ah, that triple loop is always a very dangerous jump simply because it does not have the security of a toe to help anchor it. Well, she's very ambitious. She is training and working on the triple axel. And her ultimate goal, of course, is to win the Olympics with that triple axel. The music, Les Miserables. I think that one thing that would help her as she makes the progress towards 1998 Olympic Games is to improve her style. Her back is slightly rounded and I think she could be helped by some proper positioning of her legs and turnout positions, pointed toes. Yes, I agree. Like that. Just makes everything look better. Toe. Oh. Oh, she came up smiling. This is a nice position in this flying camel. Nice variation with her arms. A little rough around the edges. I think what we saw here was a 16-year-old young lady. Very talented. Yes. Certainly some bright days ahead of her. Sydney Vogel and skating next, the favorite. Michelle Kwan, the reigning silver medalist at the national championships. When we return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Back in San Jose with 16-year-old Sydney Vogel and her coach Kathy Casey. Those are the marks for technical merit. They range from 5.2 up to 5.6. And uh, for presentation, 5.3 to 5.5. She came into this free skate in fourth place. And right now, those that have skated, she is in.